Welcome back to the RC Pilot's Log. Today I'm continuing with the ATR72600 project. This episode gets a bit messy towards the end as I had a few camera issues, but hopefully there's some continuity. With the fuselage complete in the last episode, I'm starting to work on the wing mounting. A 3mm ply structure is built up as per Julius Padana's plans. I'm using a 12mm carbon tube and a 10mm tube which slides inside to support the wings. The wing box is slotted into the fuselage and glued all round. Time will tell if this is strong enough. The 12mm carbon tube is pushed into position and marked before being cut to length and glued in place. Next up is the wing box fairing. This is built as per the plans but I'm using 3mm Depron. Moving on to the wings, I've made all the wing ribs at the same time to make sure they're uniform. They're simply hot glued together, which is just enough to hold them in place for working, but easy to break apart without damaging them. The wing root is built up according to plan, with the addition of a 3mm ply spar alongside the 6mm depron.
I'm building the motor pods as per plans as well, but using 12mm holes for lightening rather than cutting the intricate triangles. I'm pleased with the wing roots, they seem strong and light, which is just what we need. The wing roots slide onto a 10mm tube that I've pushed through the 12mm tube. Then there's 10mm tubes attached to the rear of the wing roots which slide into the rear 12mm tube. It's a nice snug fit and very strong. Next up, the Turnergy 40 amp ESCs are soldered up and run through the motor pods and into the wing roots. Now here's where the camera issues start. We've jumped forward an hour or so and I've completed most of one wing, including fitting the servos and making the ailerons and flaps. There's nothing overly complicated here. I love these moments when you stand back and take in the size and presence of a model that you've crafted yourself. More camera issues later, one wing is skinned and has a leading edge formed of five layers of 3mm Depron shanded to shape. She's a big bird. A hole is made into the wing box either side to allow the power and servo wires into the fuselage before the left wing is built up and fitted out with servos and control surfaces.
The aileron is built up with three layers of 3mm Depron, with robot hinges set into the middle layer. And the flap uses four layers as the wing is thicker near the root. Once it's all wired up and both wings are attached, I'm really pleased with the model. I really hope it flies well, although I would not be disappointed at an opportunity to make major revisions and rebuild. I need to find some scale props to suit, but these three blades will do as placeholders. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy flying.